What's up, baby? Welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami. Here we talk about whatever I want to. And today, I feel like I need to be the one to break it to the world. Honey, Jesse Ventura is a tease. He is nothing more than a political presidential tease. He has done this so many times before. I want you to do the homework, go back in time, look up how many years, presidential election years. He has threatened to suggest that he will brought up the idea of running for president. I want you to know this, how many times he has actually joined a party to actually run for president. In fact, there's a whole Comedy Central sketch about exactly this. Jesse Ventura, are you gonna run for president? If I was your president, I would be doing this, that, and the third and taking it to this next level because I would be the best because I do all these things. Okay, but if we voted and it came back that you were nominated, Will you run for president? Will you be the president? If I was your president, I would be up at 3 a.m. Taking all the phone calls, making sure before you even had breakfast. Okay, but will you be the president, Jesse Ventura? Will you run? Are you officially going to run? I was a Marine Corps vet who did, you know, I love the guy. I do. And in fact, I even said if he was running for Green Party, I probably would have voted for him. I don't doubt that I would have. I think it would have been great to energize the party in a lot of ways, but we have to eventually come to the conclusion that this man does not really want to be president. He likes the idea of it. He doesn't like the idea of all the like work and logistics around it. It may not fit into his lifestyle. It just may not be where he's ready right now, but this man is not running for president and nor has he ever officially ran or put in any of the effort of somebody who's officially running for president. Now, I know in the video about Jesse Ventura and the Green Party that I made, I think it was my first Green Party video, um, a lot of people, you know, w agreed with me when I said that we did need something that could energize the Green Party. We did need something that was big and in your face for Trump, especially. We did, I did think that that would be necessary. I did think we'd have more of a chance if we had something like that. But in reflection, self-reflection, I'm kind of realizing that that's just like a celebrity thing. What I was looking at was like, why as Americans can we not be satisfied at the idea of our neighbors who have thought this out and made a plan actually becoming president? Why are we so hellbent against it? Why do we think we need celebrities with all this name culture? Why can't we just allow regular normal people to get into a party, to make their case, to be a presidential nominee, and that is final. Why do we need the names of the, the American oligarchy? We, we, we're hounding after names like the Clintons, the Kennedys. Why do we have these dynasties? What is that? Why are we after celebrities? Why do we want Trump and Ventura to be at the head of our politics and feel like we need to have this crazy celebrity clout Right? Why did we have Reagan? Wasn't it Reagan who was like an actor? Why do we do this? Why do we need to have celebrities get into office? And why do we feel like that's what all of our campaigns need? I think that that just shows so much about us as people that we cannot fathom the idea of just an average person that you and I know who has gone to school and, you know, worked and done service in the community thusly running for president we feel like it's got to be a whole shit show and honestly reading people be like oh but jesse has like you know celebrity status basically his clout he has people looking at his name that's you know i do think the green party needs a revitalization but i don't think that the best idea for revitalization especially going forward is to you know go for the the shit show attitude of like it has to be this crazy celebrity it has to be a Kanye West it has to be a Jesse Ventura it has to be all these other people it has to be a Trump um but we we don't need to do this <laughs> we can be fine with our well educated fellow Americans stepping into positions like wanting to serve their country, not in any of it being about needing to be a celebrity, not any of it needing to be, you know, known by all these people, people who are genuinely focused on policy and issue. And I think until a lot of people really come to that understanding, we're just going to keep seeing a lot of the shit show. We're going to just keep seeing a lot of people who, who they're, they're voting for a person and not for policy. They're voting because, 
like for nothing. I, I was actually recently watching, re-watching Parks and Rec, and it's pretty funny because right when Leslie Nope announces she's running for, I don't know, city council, what I don't even remember what she was running for, but Donna the um the black woman in the uh the I don't know what she does actually she's always sitting at a computer <laughs> I don't know exactly what she does but she's very clever in the show and she turns to her and is like do you promise right now not to raise taxes and then Leslie's like I I think it's a little premature to be promising anything and then Donna's like mm -mm. no promises no vote and I was like that is politics sis that is exactly yes don't give me what I asked for, there will be no vote. Now, I mean, in this case, obviously they're friends, so there may be a vote, who knows? But my point is, is I do think focusing on policy over the face of who the person is, everybody's so concerned, like, this person's weaponizing their politics, this person's weaponizing their, the, Biden is using his whiteness to combine forces with Kamala's blazingness to create the ultimate force field of identity politics and it's like okay but identity politics is a thing literally because people are so caught up on the fucking visuals they're so caught up on what's your last name who you come from what you look like pretty privilege ugly privilege education uh you know the the way you speak sorry not if you have like the perfect diction it's it's not actually about like what's on the inside about education it's about how exactly you're presented as a package so yeah i mean yeah of course people are weaponizing identity politics at this point y'all want to weaponize celebrity politics at this you know what i mean y'all want to have celebrities but then you're mad that people are weaponizing what they have in this shit show of a system it just makes no sense to me y'all Jesse Ventura is not running. That's just like the, the it end and caboodle. He's not running. He does not want to run. And the fact that we just really are latched onto this idea of a celebrity being the end all be all to the Green Party, to whatever, the People's Party, etc. <sighs> Y'all, it just, at this point, I think we need to just do a paradigm shift on how we see politics, how we address it, how we move forward in it, how we walk in it. Because uh, the fact that people are mad at Howie and Angela because they're not famous celebrities who people know. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> what? And then it's like, you're mad at them. What the, You know Biden's name because he's old and he's been in politics for a hell of a long time. But it's like, these people have also been involved in different types of politics. Is it their fault that we're so hell bent on keeping certain people in the limelight, talking about them over and over, endorsing them? We get complacent with the same people being voted into office over and over again. I just don't understand how somebody's at fault because they're not a, a celebrity. And you guys are hound dogging on a celebrity who literally fix it he teases every year he teases that he is going to run and he's not going to run y'all he is not running he's your vote is the vote for harambe which is fine people get to vote for harambe do what you gotta do but know for a fact that uh, just like harambe he's not gonna step up into this it's not gonna be a thing it just isn't because jesse does this every year Every year he gets us excited like he's going to do something, he's going to shake up the system, and he doesn't. I don't know if it's all for attention. I don't know if he really wants to do something. I'm just telling you what the facts are. The facts are is he's not running. He didn't sign up for Green Party until it was too late, just like Ice Cube didn't talk about us needing policy issues until it was too late. He could have said all that back in January. He didn't say it, waited until it was too late. So now what we have is all these people who show up after the fact trying to rouse up people and people getting excited like oh that's what I always wanted yeah you wanted that last August last year he could have done all this and we could have all started this and done it but he doesn't do it and he's not doing it for a reason and we have to just assume that that reason is, is he doesn't really want to be president you don't really want to put in that work he don't really want to be your president but he doesn't want to help you dream big and he doesn't want you to think that the, the world is your oyster and that's wonderful the world is your oyster beloved dream big but just know jesse ventura being president is not a part of that future at least not until 2024 uh when he jumps in at the 11th hour again to try and skirt his way into somebody some party's nomination watch him try and be a part of the people's party nomination last second in the 11th hour or something next year he's gonna do it he's gonna do it uh, next election year he's gonna do it i i have no doubt he's gonna come out again 
fifth election year in a row, something like that, talking about who's going to be president. It's not going to happen. I just, I don't have faith. I have no faith in it. After seeing he's done it literally year after year after year after year, even to the point where he thought maybe Trump would choose him for his VP pick. Ah, honey, he teasing. He a tease. Don't be teased like that unless that's what you like. It was what you're into. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads.